Okay, so I'm going to be going over IB Theatre and just what you can expect of the subject. This it can be helpful to you if you're choosing to take theatre or if you're considering taking theatre. Um, yeah, this is just a little overview of what I think about the subject and also what you can expect of the subject. So first of all, what is IB Theatre? So this is taken from the IBO. So I... The IB Diploma Program Theater course is a multi-phase theater-making course of study. It gives students the opportunity to make theater as creators, designers, directors, and performers. It emphasizes the importance of working both individually and collaboratively as part of an ensemble. It offers the opportunity to engage actively in the, in the active process, uh, transforming ideas into action and as inquisitive and productive act artists. So, okay, that's a lot of words, but what does it mean? So it's basically a, a, um, a course where you're gonna learn both how to act, of course, and how, to, and how theater works, but you're also gonna get to learn a little bit about the backstage process of theater. So, um, so for example, how to stage theater, what are some uh, theories that you can use in theater, some uh, different techniques you can use in theater, both in the acting part and in the production part. So in uh, how you can use lightings properly, how you can use sound properly. And I, yeah, so I think now the important part that I think everyone uh, actually cares about. So what are the assessments? The good thing about taking every theater is that you won't be sitting any exams, which I mean, in my opinion, is just great, uh, especially if you have a lot of other hard subjects where you have to take long exams with a lot of memorization. So how are you assessed? You are assessed in either three or four projects, depending if you're uh, standard level or, eight, uh, or high level. And so the projects are the collaborative project, research presentation, production proposal, and the solo piece, which is only high level. So the collaborative project, if your standard level is worth 40% of your grade, uh, if you're high level, it's worth 25% of your grade and is externally graded. Uh, the research presentation is worth 30% of your grade uh, if you're standard level and 20% of your grade if you're high level and it's also externally graded. The production proposal is your IA, so it's internally graded by your teachers and it's worth either 30% of your grade if you're standard level or 20% of your grade if you're high level. The solo piece is a higher level only uh, project, which is externally graded and it's worth 35% of your grade. The order your teachers decide to do the projects in is completely up to them. So I'm just going to go in an order that makes sense to me, but it might be completely different from what your teachers decide to do. So first I'm going to be talking about the collaborative project. So the collaborative project, uh, the students get to work together in a group to create a piece of theater that is between seven and 10 minutes long uh, from, uh, and is, it's based on a stimulus or uh, initial idea. And uh, in the end is presented to an audience, which will give you, uh, who will give you feedback on how you performed. Um, in the end, you have to submit both an individual report um, where you're going to uh, be going over both um, how you came up with ideas to your, of your performance and also how you can improve uh, your performance if you were to do it again. And uh, this is where presenting to an audience is important because you get to hear what the audience Thought about your performance and they'll give you feedback and you can use that to write your report um, and you also have to submit a video recording of your performance which again has to be seven to ten minutes long um, then we have the research presentation the research pre presentation is a video presentation uh, which is 15 minutes long where you talk about a world theater tradition so what is a world theater tradition it's an acting tradition from a specific part of the world. So for example, in England, you might talk about the Elizabethan theater, which is a very, um, I guess, uh, good versus evil type theater, kind of what we we are used to seeing in theater in um, 
more of a Western world. And, uh, or you can talk about, you can decide to do your research presentation about Rokugo theater, which is what I did, uh, which is a Japanese style of theater where there's only one person on stage and they get to play all the characters and they don't have any costumes or sets or anything. Um, so this presentation is divided into three criteria, criteria A, B, and C, and each criteria will be about five minutes of your video. In criteria A, you get to explain what the tradition is um, and explain a convention of that theater tradition. So you talk about um, where it was created, why it was created, to who was it presented, was it for uh, the commoners, was it for uh, royalty, um, was it for the gods maybe. Um, you can also talk about the staging, does it have costumes, does it have props, does it ha involve a lot of people, does it involve only one person. And then in A2 you talk about the convention, so you choose one aspect of that theater tradition, so you can f for example talk about um, maybe the voice, the use of voice in that theater, and you talk about um, why it is important to talk in a specific way in that theater tradition. Criteria B is about how to perform that convention. So you talk both about how you learn you, uh, to perform that that uh, chosen convention, and and you also uh, present the conven uh, the convention. So you actually take a a, a text. Uh, traditional text from this uh, type of theater and you present it and uh, in criteria C you talk about how you le how learning about this tradition helped you improve your understanding of theater of world theater and also how it helped you improve uh, yourself as an actor um, yeah so the production proposal is your IA as I said before and in this um, project, you get you have to write a um, a report, which is twelve pages long, or about four thousand words, but that's a bit more flexible. Uh, where you choose a written play, it can be any pl play you like, as long as it's been published. So you can't be a, a play you wrote, but it can be, for example, a play, um, a very well-known play like Romeo or Ju and Juliet or a play that's not so well known, but you like it. So you can choose what, whichever play you want and you get to decide how to stage the play and um, some of the themes of the play, the acting style, where it'd be performed, what type of costumes the characters would use, makeup, all that. So in criteria A, you talk about the overall themes of the play. So I chose to do my my research, my production proposal on uh, a play called Attempts on Her Life, which is about suicide and depression and just, you know, a lot of sad things. So the themes of, so in Criteria A, I talked about the, the themes of this play, which are what I just said. Uh, in Criteria B, I got to talk about how I would stage the 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 perform the production so more uh, about the the production side of uh, this play so what type of costumes I wanted to use what type of staging I wanted to use what type of makeup I wanted to use how would this uh, how how would the lighting work what type of music I wanted to use and in criteria C I uh, you get to choose a part of of that uh, of that place, so you can choose a scene, maybe just a little moment, and you talk both about the performance and the production side of the of that moment. So you talk about how the actors would move, how they would talk. Maybe if they're fighting, they'd be standing up and they'd be talking to each other, screaming. When would they pause? When would they like actually scream? And um, and then you also get to talk about. Uh, the staging part. So, what would each character be wearing? What makeup would they be wearing? Um, would the would there be chairs on stage? Would there be a table on stage? Maybe. Um, how would the lighting change in between? How would the music be used? I personally really like this project because I really like this like backstage kind of aspect of theater. It is a shame that you don't get to perform your play, but 
I still think it's very fun. Uh, then we have finally the solo piece, which is again HL only, so only for HL students, where you get to choose a, a theorist, so uh, someone who influenced theater greatly. Uh, and Dibe gives you a long list of theorists you can choose from, and you choose one aspect of their theory, theory, and you create a piece of theater inspired by it, which it, and that piece of theater is about four to ten minutes long. Um, you also uh, have to submit a 2,500 word report where you talk about who the the theorist is, what type of, uh, you talk about the convention, you talk about how you perform, uh, how you developed your, um, your performance, uh, how you introduced this aspect in your performance, and uh, yeah, also about uh, how, a, a bit like in the collaborative project, you also talk about how you could improve the performance after you presented those are the four um, projects you do in IB Theatre. Um, I, I just wanted to make a little remark on the things that you should note about IB Theatre if you're trying to choose whether or not it's for you. Um, I would say expect a lot of writing, uh, as you can probably tell from the four projects I, I quickly went over. You do have to write a lot. And I know maybe when you're thinking about taking theater, you're more thinking about the acting part of theater. But unfortunately, there is a lot of writing and not so much acting. However, it's still a lot of fun, in my opinion. And it's very um, uh, artistic, very um, you, you can you have a lot of time to be to choose what you want to do, uh, what you want to how you want to present the things. It's very freeing in that way because you're not stuck with one. For example, in the production proposal, you're not forced to do one script or you're not forced to choose one specific theorist for your solo piece. And in a research presentation, you can choose whichever world theater tradition you want. Uh, but yeah, you do have to write a lot. And unfortunately, you acting, you don't really act a lot. Um, but again, if you if you don't if you like acting and you like learning about theater and you like theater in general and you you know you don't mind writing a lot, you can do very well on it. And especially if you're not that good at memorizing and everything, you don't have to worry about writing an exam. And um, in my personal opinion, it is one of the easiest um, HL subjects if you decide to take an HL, like I did. Because, um, again, you don't have to memorize anything for exams. You don't have to, uh, a lot in a lot of subjects, you have to take like four more topics or three more topics. And it, it can be quite time consuming. But in IB Theater, you know, especially um, if your school organizes it well. And if they, um, you know, take uh, give you class time to write your work, you don't really have to be worrying about it too much after school and I totally recommend it and yeah thank you for listening to me and I hope this helped and yeah have a nice day